In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to build an AI-powered web intelligence extractor using N8N, capable of understanding natural language questions, scraping relevant web data, and delivering structured answers using AI. The automation is split into three powerful stages. One, understand the question. An AI agent receives and interprets incoming chat messages using OpenAI, parsing out the user's intent, and identifying the data we need to fetch. Two, scrape relevant info. The workflow uses a scraping service to gather data from URLs and processes it with custom logic via a code node. Three, structure and answer with AI. Finally, the data is formatted and passed through an AI model via OpenRouter to generate a clean, human-readable response. Whether you're building a chatbot research tool or support assistant, this automation shows you how to combine scraping, AI, and custom logic into one smart workflow. Let's begin with the first part of this automation, teaching the AI how to understand the user's question. When a user sends a message, something like, extract the contact email on Automation Tribe, we need a way to turn that natural language into something structured and actionable. This is exactly what the AI agent node is built for. In this step, we're using the AI agent to interpret the user's intent. It reads the incoming chat message and analyzes it to find any mentioned tools, services, or URLs, and then rewrites the question in a way that can be processed later by our automation. To do this, we provide the AI agent with a carefully crafted prompt. This prompt includes rules, output format, and even examples to help the model understand exactly what we want from it. You'll see the full prompt on screen right now. Feel free to pause the video and copy it. It's a great starting point, and you can easily customize it for your own use case. If you prefer, you can also screenshot it and use ChatGPT Vision to rewrite it based on your specific needs. The next part of the setup is connecting this AI agent to an open AI node. In our case, we're using the GPT-40 mini model, but you can also go with GPT-4 or even Claude, depending on your performance and cost needs. This model handles the natural language understanding behind the scenes. Once the model is selected and your OpenAI credentials are connected, we add a structured output parser. This is what ensures the AI gives us a clean, predictable response. It expects a specific JSON structure, basically a list of URLs and reworded questions. And if it doesn't match that structure, the automation will fail. To make things more reliable, I've also included an auto-fix output parser. This one acts as a safety net. If the AI gives an invalid format, this node automatically fixes it using another AI model, so your workflow doesn't break. Once this setup is in place, the AI agent will return a JSON with the correct URL and rephrased prompts ready for scraping in the next step. Now that the AI has done its job and provided us with a clean list of URLs and search prompts, it's time to actually go out and grab the data. This part of the automation is all about scraping. We're using a dedicated API service, in this case, firecrawl.dev, to fetch the content of each web page and return it in a structured format that's easy to work with. In the workflow, this is handled by the scrape URL node. The configuration here is pretty simple. The method is set to post. We don't need to send any query parameters, but we do need to enable and configure the headers and body. For the headers, you just add an authorization parameter and in the value field, paste in your bearer token from your Firecrawl account. This is what authenticates the request. Then scroll down to the JSON body section. This is where we pass the URL that the AI found earlier. We're using a variable to pull it dynamically. Once this is configured, we pass the output to a code node. That code is very minimal. It just extracts the useful JSON.data field from the scraper's response and passes it forward in the workflow. Here's what the code looks like. And just like that, we now have raw, structured web content that we can send to the AI again, this time to turn it into a readable, useful answer. In the next step, we'll take all of this scraped data and let the AI craft a final response that's actually helpful to the user. Now that we've scraped the content from the target websites, we're entering the final stage of this automation formatting the information and turning it into a clean, human-readable response using AI. At this point, 
all the raw data we need has already been collected. But let's be honest, raw text from websites can be messy, scattered, and overwhelming. So we're going to bring the AI back into the picture one more time to analyze the scraped content and turn it into a clear, structured answer. To do this, we're using the LLM chain node, which is powered by an open AI model. In the prompt user message field, we pass two pieces of information, the cleaned up scraped data and the original question the user asked. Here's how the input is structured using expressions. This allows the AI to understand what content it's working with and what the user originally wanted to know. Then in the chat message field below, we provide one final set of instructions. Again, pause the video if you want to copy the prompt. Once that's done, the model generates a final answer, clean, structured, and ready to send back to the user. You can present it in a chatbot, email it, or even publish it somewhere, depending on your use case. Now that the workflow is ready, let's test it out with a couple of real examples. For the first one, I'm going to send a simple message. Find me the email from this website, automationtribe.com. The automation kicks in right away, first understanding the request, then scraping the page, and finally analyzing the data with AI. It takes just a few seconds and voila, it successfully finds my email address and delivers it right back. That's already a time saver. Let's try something a bit more advanced. This time I'll ask, please check automationtribe.com and extract all the YouTube videos. Again, the AI identifies the task, scrapes the site, and then parses everything into a clean format. It takes a moment to process, but just like before, the result is spot on. All the embedded YouTube videos pulled out and neatly listed. All of this happens way faster than doing it manually. And the best part? You can customize this workflow for your own use cases. With this automation, you can do so much. And you can see it all on the screen right now. Extract emails from any website, pull YouTube videos, compare SaaS pricing pages, or summarize blog posts. You can grab testimonials, collect course info, discover AI tools, scrape product prices, extract FAQs, and even monitor competitor blog updates. All of it is fully automated. If you enjoyed this automation, drop a comment below. If you leave an idea for a new automation, I might build it. And if I choose yours, I'll send it to you for free. You can find this exact automation inside my school community, and I really hope it inspires you to build something awesome. Until the next video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you soon.